Atule Ebu Shalom, English 040, student ID number 1309183. The first two schools, working class school, according to iron appearance with blue collar jobs, examples are field workers, fishing, power plants, auto mechanics, security guards, pipe welders, and boiler makers. They may involve skilled or unskilled labor. 15% of the fathers are unemployed, and 85% of the families are white. 30% of the women work some part-time and some full-time. 15% of the families in each school are at or below the federal poverty level. Most of their incomes are at or below 12,000, except some of the skilled workers, whose income are higher. Families in these two schools have incomes at or below 12,000 and are 38.6% of the families in the state. The third school, according to ION, is the middle class school. The population is a mixture of several social class. The parents' occupation can be divided into three. One, a small group of blue collar who are skilled, well-paid workers, such as painters, plumbers, carpenters, construction workers, etc. Number two, this second group consists of parents from working class and middle class, white collar jobs, women in office jobs, technicians, supervisors in industries, employed by the city, firemen, policemen, and several school teachers. Number three, this constitute of occupations such as personnel directors in local firms, accountants, owners of shops in the area, they are middle management. Several local doctors' children attend this school. Most family income are between 13000 and 25000 with a few higher. This income range is typical of 38.9% of the families in the states. The first school, according to ION, has a parent population that is at the higher income level of the upper middle class, and it is predominantly professionals. It is called an affluent professional school. Typical jobs are cardiologists, lawyers, doctors, and engineers. Some families are not as affluent as others. Few families are more affluent than the majority and can be classified in the capitalist class. Approximately 90% of the children in this school are white. Most family incomes are between 40,000 to 80,000. This income span represents 7% of the families in the state. The fifth school, according to IRON, is the capitalist class. They are called the executive ally school because most fathers are top officials, e.g. president, vice president, and sizable group of fathers are top executives in financial firms in Wall Street. Some fathers list their occupations as general counsel to a particular corporation. Many of the women do volunteer work in the junior leagues. Some themselves have well-paid occupation. No minority children in the school and family incomes are over 100,000 with some in the 500,000 range. The income represents less than 1% of the families in the state. In the two working class schools, the procedure is usually mechanical involving rote behavior and the children have little say in decision making or choice. Available textbooks are not always used. Steps are told to the children and written on the board for them to copy. Work are evaluated not according to whether it is right or wrong, but according to whether the children follow the right steps. Meanwhile, in the affluent professional school, the children are continually asked to express and apply ideas and concepts. Also, work involves individ individual thought and expressiveness, expansion and illustration of ideas and choices. The product of work is often written stories, editorials, and essays. Product is usually evaluated for the quality of its expression and for the appropriateness of its conception to the task. Similarities, they both have subjects like social studies and sciences. The impact on the students enrolled in the middle class is that they have little knowledge of the subjects. 
they are less independent more grade oriented and have little or no say over what is taught meanwhile the impact on the student in the affluent professional school is that they are more independent and creative in thought and expression what is surprising and shocking about the middle class school is that the children are not motivated and the teachers do not know much about the subject matter in the case of affluent professional school the children often negotiate what work is to be done and have to say at the speed at which classroom instruction can proceed.